and bright red strawberries are a sure sign of summer, and one Copper Country town knows how to celebrate the fun fruit in style. Here's ABC 10's Thomas Fournier with more. There's something about summertime and strawberries that makes the town of Chassel come to life. Historically, farmers harvested their yearly berry crop and sent it out to major cities. Today, just four farms produce the abundantly sweet fruit. But there's a whole lot of sweetness and hard work going into the festival itself and the Lions Club Strawberry Shortcakes. There, well, there's about 60 plus Lions members is a big part of getting it all ready for all the different planning stages start months ahead of time. I think we have to give credit to the strawberry farmers that grow the strawberries. And now tonight's a big cleaning. We hope to clean about 1,300 quarts of berries to serve 4,000 plus shortcakes in the next day and a half, Friday and Saturday. The Copper Country Strawberry Festival of today is renowned for its many craft vendors, parade, family-friendly activities, and of course the Chessel Lions Club Strawberry Shortcake. The Lions Club called on the community for help in preparation of over 4,000 cakes. And residents answered that call, stopping by to slice and dice thousands of berries. 1,300 quarts is what we're cleaning tonight. So it depends on the size of the berry. If the berries were smaller, there'd be more. So I think most people would know what a quart size would be. So that's a lot. But there's Lions members already washing the berries and keeping that, having that all done. So they simply have to take the, the cap off and then cut them up to a size and then put them in, just put them in a bowl. And they can visit during that whole time and have a good conversation. Strawberry Festival events are taking place all over Chassel this weekend, and many start tonight. Check out our story on our website to see event details, a schedule, Strawberry Queen candidates, and much more. Be sure to stop by the Strawberry Festival today and tomorrow for some shortcake, too. With ABC 10 and CW5, this is Thomas Fournier.